Hello. So I've finally got all my, my room ready and uh, a bit, bit of gear, no idea, uh, to finally start posting some videos with some good content in. So I don't know whether you've uh, seen my video on the, my philosophy about coaching, about playing the game. And basically it goes talks about I think people should come away from too technical. I think they should learn how to play the game as much. Don't get me wrong. It's really important to have a sound technique and like I say you work with what you've got to play your best snooker but you know ultimately you want to be playing the game and it's more enjoyable when you're actually playing the game rather than thinking about all this mush so on saying that I do believe that there are three rules that you should base your cue action around and the first one of those is this one is keeping your cue anchored to your chin and your chest now it doesn't have to, if you can't get down far enough, and you can't get your chin on, that's fine. I think forgive you for that, but it has to be on your chest. And the reason that's there for, if you're, if you're queuing, if you're queuing with that, it's just so easy to queue offline. And especially when you're using power and when you're, when you're nervous, it's, you're very, it's virtually impossible to get to a high level and be consistent without that sort of help, that safety net there. So basically, find your line, get down. You can see that the cue's on that same part of the chest all the way through the strike. And then I just follow through to that point in the chest. Um, and yeah, for me, it's really important. All the professionals do it. So if they do it, it's probably worth giving it a try. Might feel a bit weird, but it's definitely, definitely worth try, worth sticking with. And um, have a good ball strike. Next one. Next one is keeping your head on the line at all times. So, it's a straight shot, easy to find the line. As soon as I'm right behind it, I've lined it up. My head's just not going to leave it. No looking at that. Look at that. You start your pre-shot routine. It's here. And my eyes will never leave that. And it's in, just follow it all the way down. And then keep looking where you're going. striking next one is to have a long enough pullback to have a consistent transition from backwards to forwards in the in the final backswing so if you look at all the top players it's as if they're hitting the ball the same every time and that's because they're given that that transition from backwards to forwards is the same so on all shots so for this shot here I can screw back with a really short hit Didn't pull my cue ball very far, but as you can see, because I haven't pulled it back very far, I've got to accelerate really quick. So, if I want to have the pendulum type motion, pull it back further, and you can accelerate slower. You've still got to hit it a certain pace to get the spin on, obviously, but because I've given myself room to slowly accelerate, you can feel like you're pushing the cue through the line of aim. You've not got to throw your cue at it. So, Different players have different tempos. Look at all the pros, they've all got different tempos, but so like I say, the best of the best, all are like, it's the same every time. So you got to find what's best for you and then pull your cue back far enough on whatever shot you're playing to be able to consistently do that. And that will help your cue ball control because in this game, it's a lot of its feel. So if you've got that default feel of your hit, then you can just sort of rely on that when you're playing in a match. So I hope that was, you know, easy to understand. Uh, I've tried to get the message across best I can. Uh, if you've got any questions, please ask, please comment. Uh, even if you disagree with me, please comment. You know, we'll have a discussion about that. Uh, quite interesting to know anybody's thoughts if they don't agree. Please subscribe. Please like this, like the channel. Share it. You know, get, get the word out. And um, hopefully I can, um, yeah, I look forward to doing my next video.